Kai, 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 Kai. He just ripped. He just ripped my lip fillers off. I see. I see. I would like to apologize for the jump scare. I know you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, she looks awful. I feel awful. Literally, this was such a hard week, you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know I had the flu this past week. <sighs> it took me out, you guys. It was a very, very difficult week. I 100% thought I had COVID. Um, I'm not really someone to go to the doctor or urgent care when I get sick. I just kind of like ride it out. But you guys, by day four, I was like, I can't take this anymore. Like, what is going on? So I go to urgent care. They run some tests. Then they tell me that I have the flu. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm like, this cannot be the same flu I would get as a kid. Because when I would get as a kid, a few days would go by, boom, boom, I'm good. But like as an adult, oh my God, getting sick is just so much harder. And then you have all these other responsibilities. You have other kids to take care of. Like it was just a very awful week. Not only did I get the flu, but the twins cut their top teeth, like their first top tooth at the same exact time last week. So I had a fever, I had the flu. The twins are like screaming their head off all day because their tooth is coming out. Just be very, very happy you guys were not in our house last week because y'all, it was humbling to say the least, humbling. Like, oh my gosh, I'm still getting over it. You guys can hear my voice. I'm just super congested still. Let me drink some of my tea. I'm at that point in sickness where when the day progresses, I start to feel a lot better. But when I first wake up in the morning, I feel like I'm sick again. And I think it's mostly because of my congestion. I'm like basically breathing through my mouth when I sleep. So every morning I've been waking up with my throat just like wrecked. So I've been gargling salt water. Like I just gargled salt water before I turned on the camera. Got my ginger tea, my ginger lemon tea. I got my electrolytes. So by the time I drink all this and like get ready for the day, I usually feel a lot better. Guys, getting super sick like that, like you just can't take your health for granted. Oh my gosh. I I can't believe how much I took just breathing out of my nose for granted. Like I, I would do anything to be able to breathe through my nose. But we are about to get our life together. I am tired of looking at this. Like every time I look in the mirror, I'm like this hair. Oh no, honey. Like we need to do something about this there's nothing worse than when you're sick and then you just like feed into being sick you know what i mean i gave myself a few days to just like sulk around and like you know be in my pajamas all day but i told myself at this point i need to take a shower i need to get my life together i need to put on a nice outfit like i'm just i'm tired of feeling as bad as i look if that makes sense first things first we are going to take a shower i'm just ready to wash away this miserable week so let's get right into it so let's get into this hair care routine you guys know i've been using the ways products for a really long time now and i swear by their products it just gets my hair so fresh and so clean especially this detox shampoo right here i cannot do my hair routine without it the detox shampoo gives your scalp a deep cleanse so it gets rid of any product buildup oil hard water deposits any impurities and i like to use my little scalp scrubber to get an even deeper clean but this just totally resets my scalp i love it so much if you guys saw that product shot in the beginning you can see in the corner right there i am almost out of it and this is my fourth bottle so when I tell you guys I love this stuff, I am not exaggerating. So I definitely need to get another bottle. So that is my first initial cleanse. And then I always like to double cleanse my scalp and I like to use the anti-dandruff shampoo. And this one helps to reduce any flakiness or itchiness on the scalp. And this one, as you guys can see, gets more like bubbly and sudsy. So you actually leave this on for a good five minutes. So I just really make sure to coat my scalp, scrub that in, and then I'll let that sit while I just do other things like wash my face, wash my body, stuff like that. Their medium hair shampoo shampoo is actually really great as well i'm not using that today but i love to just use that when i just want like a simple shampoo and all of their products you guys smell incredible i really make sure to get into my scalp give myself a good scalp massage and then after five minutes i rinse that off for conditioner i'm using the medium hair conditioner oh you guys the smell it smells amazing the fragrance in here is probably my favorite out of all of the products i'm not sure of the exact name but i'll put it on the screen 
but yeah this fragrance just it's incredible and it makes my hair so silky so shiny you guys are gonna see i always comb my conditioner through my hair um before i rinse it out so you guys can see how my hair like the the brush just like glides through you guys can actually take a quiz on way and it will determine your hair type and help pick out some products for you so definitely make sure you guys check that out and make sure you guys use my code nozany to get 15 percent off go to t-h-e-o-u-a-i.com slash nozany to get 15 percent off your entire purchase again that's t-h-e-o-u-a-i.com slash nozany Guys, I needed that shower that felt so good and refreshing. We're about to head out, so I'm just about to get ready. Guys, Lumify, you guys know I wear Lumify like every day, but it's seriously been saving my life while being sick because my eyes are just like redder. Um, and this just like transforms everything. You know that one question which honestly, if you think about it, it's pretty dumb. I look like I'm crying now, but it's always like, if you were going to a deserted island, like what's one product you would bring? Like I have bigger fish to fry if I was on a deserted island, but for me, I think it'd have to be Lumify. I mean, to be honest, the only product you really should be taking with you is SPF, but I would take my Lumify and brow gel and brow mascara, okay. So four products. So I'm headed to the Westfield Century City Mall cause they just opened up their first ever um, Good American store, I believe. Cause I know they sell Good American and like Nordstrom and stuff, but this is like their own physical store. I have a long hair right here. So they invited me in to come do some shopping. So I'm super excited for that. You guys know I love Good American. Their pants fit so good. I have to put you onto this makeup tip that changed my life. So I've been seeing a lot of people, they set their eyebrows after they fill them and they set them with product or whatever, and it helps it stay, which I love doing that too. But guys, just applying some translucent powder, this is just German Blend, to your eyebrows before you fill them in. It's like the one thing that I've been needing that I didn't know I needed because I always apply my skincare and stuff before I do my makeup. So that applies a lot of like slip to your face. You know what I mean? So when I felt like I was filling in my eyebrows, I almost felt like the product wasn't clinging onto the skin the way I needed to. Like I would fill in my eyebrows. By the time I was done with my makeup, it's like the brow product wiped away. So by setting my eyebrows, like just applying translucent powder to my eyebrows just to absorb any like excess oil or anything like that, it really helps my brow pencil just stay on like all day. Where did I put my brow pencil? Oh, here it is. No, it's not. Well, I just lost my brow pencil. I literally had it in my hand before I started talking. I need my nails done so bad, you guys. Oh, I'm at my like last little nub. This is all I have left of the House Labs pencil. Yeah, it's like too small. I can't even use it. After I shared on Instagram that I was sick, a lot of you guys DM me saying that you guys have been super sick too. Like it's just something in the air. We're all sick. And again, it's not just like, oh, I have a sore throat. Like people are like, I have strep throat. I have the flu too. Like, girl, what is going on? And you guys saw I was sick in May as well. That's why my surgery got canceled. So I'm just like so over being sick. Like, it's just such an inconvenience. It's such a, ugh. Again, it's one thing to have a little cold, but to be as sick as I was, it was very just horrible. It was horrible. Oh, I had a fever. I had, I was vomiting. I'm sorry if that's my vomiting. I hate vomiting. <gasps> I was vomiting. Um, body aches and pains. That's why I was like, I 100% have COVID. Um, but guys, my neck, like literally all right here, I can barely move it. Like it hurts so bad. You guys know like my daily look. I literally just fill in my eyebrows, little bit of mascara and call it a day. You know, I found, I really don't like the look of foundation in the daytime. I really don't. 
in most lighting during the daytime unless you're like in an open patio and it's like covered but i don't know like i just think foundation looks only good at nighttime and with flash photography it's one of those things where i feel like makeup honestly makes me look worse the second i put on foundation i look in the mirror and i just see like texture and it just really emphasizes texture you know what i mean so that's why during the day you won't catch me really wearing foundation i'll wear like a like you saw i wear tinted sunscreens i wear a little bit of concealer but if you guys have a recommendation for me definitely leave it down below but i just feel like all foundation kind of does that in that lighting you know i really wish i can go back in time and tell myself in high school not to wear foundation every day because i swear that made my skin even worse first of all girl like you're going to school like who cares but I do remember in high school, I did feel like because I had like the social media presence and the social media following that I had this kind of image to keep up. So I'm like, I have to like do my makeup to go to school, which is so untrue. Like, I hate that I even thought that, you know? Um, but yeah, I really wish I could go back and tell myself in high school, you do not need to wear foundation every day. It's just making your skin worse, girl. Like, come on. I've been really loving Lancome as a brand. This is the Lancome taint i dole wear concealer so that's what i'm wearing right now for the longest time i was using dior forever skin i still love that one i just have to repurchase it i had a little bit left Hold on. see guys i'm like down to you can't really tell but if you look on the side like i'm really scraping up the edges but i really love this concealer too i just applied a little bit of lip liner who's gonna make sure you blend it out I've been hearing really good reviews on this Lancome. Um, what is this? Cils Booster? C-I-L-S Booster? So this is like a lash primer. And I don't really use lash primers ever. So I'm going to try it out. I got on PR. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And then also I, they sent me the Lancome Lash Idol Mascara. So let's see how this looks. I go in with the lash curler, by the way, guys. You know me. So here's the eyelash with just the curler. See, guys, this is like the best eyelash curler. This is the Surat eyelash curler. It's like $30, but it is worth it, you guys. Like, no other eyelash curler gives me this. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and apply the booster. Oh, my gosh. You guys remember back in the day on YouTube when just, like, mascara routine videos were popping, like... You could get a million views on just your mascara video. And it's like a three minute video of you just like applying your mascara and showing your routine. Back when life was easy. I don't know if you guys can see it that well on camera, but I applied the booster. It definitely did make my eyelashes like super long. That's crazy. But again, it's like white. Can you see it? So far, so good. I feel like it's going to look really good once I put this mascara on. Let's see. I don't know if it's the primer, but for some reason my lashes are like, I like my lashes like straight up and it's kind of like flat. Maybe it weighed them down a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, guys, I'm just using my regular mascara on the other side without the lash booster and my lashes are acting like normal, like going straight up. So I don't know why that did that. If you guys can see it better like this, this is my regular mascara. This is the lash booster with the Lancome mascara on it. But see, like, the lashes are still really long on this one, but see how they're not going, like, straight up to my eyebrow? It's such a small detail, like, I doubt anybody would notice, but I notice. Try curling them again. This could be risky, because sometimes when you curl your lashes again, it'll just, like, clump up. And we are ready. Look at my babies. Oh, you swooped them before I could show them. Look at my babies, you guys. Hi, Mooch. Hi, Big Papa Kai. My Big Papa was sleeping in the car. That's why he's in a little grumpy mood. <laughs> so handsome. And there's Daddy. There's pom poms. What's good? What's good? Let me see those. I told him he looks just like Mooch with his hair like that. It's just my in-between braid style. I'm not trying to like flex. Aww. It's just comfortable. 
<laughs> Afro's doing too much. Doesn't it feel weird not having Kay with us? Yeah. KK is with Jiddu. Babe, how weird was it not to hear Party Rock playing 30 million times in the drive over here? I was thankful. I'm so tired of Party Rocking. I'm so not tired of Party Rock. I'm still loving it. How pretty are those flowers, you guys? I know the Middle Eastern girl is going crazy for those. Uh huh. Now I don't go anywhere without this little vintage camera. Yeah. I told you it's like car keys. I call my essentials car keys now. Can't leave the house without it. There it is. I can get some nice pictures in there. Yeah. We found it, you guys. It is on the second floor by Bloomingdale's. The movie theater's over there. Ah, uh, those jeans are fit to me. So I'm in the fitting room and you guys have to see this, it's so cool. So here's everything that I grabbed, I'm about to try it on, but everything in here is chipped so automatically it all synced up to this computer screen in here so I can see exactly everything that I grabbed. Let's say you're like, oh, I want a different size or a different color, and you can easily just check that on your own. It's so cool. The fitting rooms are just really nice too. You have this giant mirror right here, this nice comfy cushion, like this little seat. You can see all angles in this fitting room, girl, so I'm about to try on and make my picks. First thing I'm trying on, and it looks so good you guys i immediately saw this the second we walked in it's like this like full denim jumpsuit and it is so flattering you guys like what it's the waist it fits the booty it's like long enough super cute two for two you guys i actually really like these jeans um i need a pair like this that are in this color all of my jeans are pretty much like light wash so i like how these are a little bit of like a darker finish and then you guys can see in the back like it has like slits at the heels and guys you know what's so cool so it doesn't say the name of these pants um on there anywhere i'm like oh my gosh like what am i gonna tell you guys but look on the computer it tells me these are the good 90s relaxed jeans but yeah, these kind of have like that oversized fit, but I really like these too. These shorts are super cute, but they're a little too big. I'm thinking like maybe I could just get the waist taken in. Because I think if I size down, it's going to be too small. But you guys can see in the back, it kind of has like a lot of gapping. But the style itself, like these shorts are super cute. Does it say on here what it is? I'm feeling indifferent about this dress. I do think it has potential. It's obviously too big. But it's cute. Like imagine if I taped my boobs up and it was smaller. So it'd be like this. I don't know, do we like it? It's like a little blazer, a blazer dress moment. Definitely dress it up. Some heels. I don't know. Gucci's ready to go home. Huh? Guys, these are our two hungry hippos. They put it away. How much? She ripped out her bows. Her shirt got dirty. I put on her brother's shirt. Thank you. So she looks like a boy. Now she looks like a boy. Gucci, it's coming, I swear. I literally realized that I didn't even vlog our food. It's because like when I take pictures on my phone in my head, I'm like, oh, I recorded the food. But I didn't vlog it. But you guys know I get the same thing at Javier's every single time. I get the, uh, not the beef fajitas, the, the steak fajitas. I get that every time. It's so good with rice. Hope you guys, we got humbled in Javier. 
<laughs> Not one, but two blowouts. So both the twins are in completely different outfits. Then <laughs> what we walked in there with. Except parent lights. I know. I did two within an hour. Two diaper changes? Yeah, two poops. Babe. Hey, it's a, it's a uh, parent family. Y'all gotta get comfortable with poops and spit. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of poop in our life, unfortunately. Ew. <laughs> a blue bottle. Mm. Wait, like they put this on our stroller because you can't have your stroller in Javier's. Hello? We're going to be on about 30 minutes. Bye, KK. Have fun at school. Look at my babies eating their oranges. Hi. Look at my cuties eating their cuties. You guys remember their baby shower theme was cuties themed? And now look at them. Look at them munching other little cuties. Guy looks like a cutie in that little orange onesie. We love just giving them fruit for breakfast. I was thinking about making them like little mini pancakes. But I think I'm just gonna give them like, oh, mooch! You want it? Ah. This is why, guys, we just ordered these mats from Amazon. They're lifesavers. Oh my gosh, before this, our floor would be covered in food every time they ate. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. By the time we got home from the mall, we were all tired. It was bedtime for the kids. So we put the kids to sleep, and by the time the kids went to sleep, I was ready to go to sleep. So I went to sleep pretty early last night. I actually fell asleep on the car ride home, like a little kid. I've been working all morning, so I'm just taking a little lunch break. This is just like some rice and chicken my dad made earlier this week. You can't have rice without yogurt. Obviously, I'd prefer like the Persian yogurt, but I just gotta settle for some like Greek yogurt guys i am so beyond excited i'm finally getting my hair cut tomorrow literally my appointment was scheduled last friday and then i got sick like me getting sick you guys keeps on getting in the way of everything but yeah i was gonna cut my hair i got sick you guys want to hear something so unfortunate so sylvia doesn't do house calls anymore i was devastated when she told me but honestly like i totally understand why she doesn't want to do it anymore. It is just like a lot of work, you guys, like just to drive around all over LA in the traffic. And then also like you're driving an hour and then you have to stand on your feet for another two hours to do hair. Like it's a lot of work. So I totally like understand where she's coming from. You're getting your hair done tomorrow too, right babe? Yeah. Yeah, we're both getting our hair done tomorrow. Mel is getting his hair done in the morning and then I'm going in the afternoon. Guys, my nasally voice is killing me. 
It's killing me. But I'm excited to see Sylvia at the salon tomorrow. And guys, the great thing about the salon is that they also do nails. So I'm just killing two birds with one stone. I'm gonna get my nails done there while I get my hair done. I'm gonna get my nails and my toes done. So I'm excited. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. This is probably gonna be in a different vlog, but I just need to chop off this hair. Like it is just too much, you guys. Hi. Hi, mama. Ma, 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 ma. Oh no, she can reach that now, babe. <laughs> oh no. Hey, hey. I tried putting her down for a nap, but she did not want to sleep, you guys. Mochi! Mochi! I'm too distracted by the ah. life outside the family room. Uh. Mochi, Mochi! Come here. Come here, Mooch. I love her. Guys, I ordered her and Kai a bunch of onesies that don't have the footy part. So, because we don't change their outfits until after their first morning nap. So I figured, like, they could be barefooted and, like, play barefooted. Apparently, that's, like, better for their foot health. Where is she going? Ah, 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 ah. she want to go in the water. Enjoying a nice afternoon in the pool. Guys, I feel bad for Mel. He has like the pool thermostat like on his phone. In between Wait, me, KK and Baba, hey, they're no always air telling air him it's too hot, it's too cold, it's too cold, it's too, no, cold. It's too no, hot. Hi, Kai Kai. Look at my Kai Kai, everybody. Hi, Kai Kai. Look at my Mooch in her off the shoulder little bathing suit. KK is practicing his swimming without using a floaty. KK, it's not cold. Mommy's over yeah. here. The babies are over here. Hi, Jiddu. <laughs> yeah, guys, K was bougie. It's like the pool is cold. KK, you know when me and Daddy were little, the pool would be freezing, and we would just be happy to go in a pool. You had to sit on the steps like this until you got used to it. Yeah. KK, let's see you go underwater. Let's see. Let's see. Good job. Good job. Good job, KK. KK. <laughs> Good job, KK. Good job, KK. Did it. KK did it. KK did it. Hi, Kai Kai. Hi, my Kai Kai. Hi, my Mooch. Guys, look at Mooch's little off the shoulder bathing suit moment. I'm just gonna eat that little shoulder. I'm gonna eat that little shoulder. When I lose it down, it brings through. Now it's hot, hot, hot. Good job, K. Hey. Come to over here, jump. Jump in. This one back to the wall. KK! Hey, be careful! Go, 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 go. Come here, KK. When you get in the water, it won't be that cold. Y'all, these new age kids are too bougie. Let me tell you. Mel got Kayvon on one of these little slip and slides that you use like the hose with it. Kayvon was like, no, it's too cold. Didn't even play with it. Aria Kai. Me and my Kai Kai. Kai Kai Kai. Kai Kai Kai. Kai Kai Kai. Forever and ever. Guy, 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 guy. Oh. <laughs> he just ripped. He just ripped my lip fillers I see, off. I see. No, Jeff. Go, go, go. Play with mommy, with daddy. It's your business here. Yeah. I want it done. I like it done. I want it done. <laughs> Look at Baba at my neighbor's house. I know he looked over that fence, saw him working on his like plants, and he was like, let me come help you. What's up you guys? We had such a nice little afternoon in the pool. 
we all took our showers i did wash my hair again and guys this was the first time i showered with kai like this is the first time i had him like in the shower with me and he was just like the cutest little shower buddy like he just sat there and played with his little toys while i did like the full shebang like i washed my hair i shaved and he was just chilling the whole time it was so cute mooch was taking a nap so i'm gonna give her a bath before she goes to sleep but yeah now everybody's downstairs mel is making some dinner and i'm just trying to get a dent in my packing just so i can focus on packing up the kids clothes tomorrow so i'm gonna pack all of the baby stuff and then mel is gonna pack up kaylon stuff so i just want to show you guys this dress i got from amazon because it is so cute don't mind the mess in the back y'all know how packing goes but here's the dress you guys I am obsessed with it. It came in so many different colors and I just got this one so I kind of want to go back and order it in more colors but yeah guys I live in stuff like this in the summertime so literally for Ohio I'm packing like 10 dresses like this, a few pairs of pants and top combos, some workout clothes because y'all know my family loves to walk and a swimsuit. That's pretty much all I'm taking. I'll link this dress down below for you guys. I believe I got this in a size medium. Um, I'll specify down below. But yeah, it's just such a like easy dress to just like throw on. I just want to try it on, but I think I'm just going to keep it on for the rest of the day. Guys, I've gotten so used to just like skirts and dresses that when I have to put together an outfit like jeans and pants and a top, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much work. Like I'm just so used to just like throwing something like this on in a pair of sandals and calling it a day speaking of dresses i want to show you guys another dress i picked up yesterday from free people isn't this the cutest bag ever like this is the shopping bag they give you um and then you guys saw what i got from good american so let me show you guys this dress oh my gosh you guys this dress is stunning oh my gosh i'm so happy i got it so it's from free people i don't typically go inside of free people like i like their stuff but it's not a store that I go out of my way to go shop inside of. So when we were at the mall yesterday, I walked past it and I saw this dress on a mannequin and I was like, hold up, I gotta check out this dress. So I got really lucky too because they had a bunch of smalls and this was, they only had like one medium, like no larges, literally one medium. And luckily, I didn't even try it on in store, but luckily the medium fit really nicely. But you guys can just see the gorgeous detailing on here. Once I have a little tan going on, it's gonna look really good but again you guys know I just love long dresses like this love 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 all of the embroidery I love the details I love the little halter tie the back is out too it's just such a pretty summer dress so guys this is gonna be our first time traveling with all three kids and I am so nervous it's not that I'm nervous per se I don't know I just I don't want to be that person on the plane with the screaming baby because I swear you guys once you become a parent when you walk on the plane even when I would just travel like we would just travel with just Kayvon the second you walk in a plane with a child it really sucks that it's like this but you just feel so judged like people are looking at you like of course like I hope they're not sitting next to me you just feel like such a burden and it's such a terrible feeling it just sucks that we live in a society like that where they just where it's just made for kids to feel like a burden you know but yeah, I'm just crossing my fingers that everything goes smooth. I try to make it as easy as possible with the time that we're traveling. We're traveling out of Burbank too, so we don't have to deal with LAX. I'm just crossing my fingers that we don't run into any issues. It's also just traveling with a lot of stuff as well. We have to travel with car seats, stroller. Um, we need to take some play pens for the babies to sleep in. So that's like another thing that's making me anxious. Um, that's why I want to like pack in advance and have my stuff out of the way so I can really just focus on making sure like the kids are good and the family is good with traveling. Yesterday I had a literal heart attack with the tickets because I always book through Amex Travel. You guys know I love my American Express. Um, I looked up, so I typed in like Amex Travel on my email to find the confirmation and this thing popped up where it was like, still need tickets to Columbus? I was like, what like are you telling me i didn't book the flight like i swear i booked this three weeks ago so i literally had a heart attack i like couldn't log into my amex account i'm like i swear if these tickets aren't there but for some reason they were there like my tickets were purchased so i don't know why i got this prompt from american express that was like do you still need tickets but yeah our tickets are booked i'm gonna check in as soon as i can and cross my fingers guys send me good energy send me good vibes 
really hoping this is a really smooth flight. If you have any last minute tips for me, that would be great. Leave them down below. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and start packing. I do have everything picked out already, but you guys know my system. I literally just throw everything on the closet floor and then once I have time, I'll sit down and like roll everything up and pack it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting things into packing cubes. I just changed out of that dress, but I just wanted to clarify because I don't feel like I clarified my fears well enough. It's not that I'm scared of like people judging us because honestly, that's like the least of my worries. I just know that's like, that's what comes with the territory of going out in public with kids. So I feel like I would get so much judgment with just one child. I can't imagine with three kids. But besides that, it's just more so the things that are out of my control, like flight delays. We do have a connecting flight. So what if on our layover, our flight gets delayed an hour, or even worse, we get delayed in the plane. Like even Isha was telling me when she was coming here, they were stuck on the plane for an hour. And all I could think in my head was, what if I had all three kids with me? Like, what am I gonna do? So that's like what I'm scared of. That's what I'm worried for. I'm really just trying to manifest good vibes and easy travel. So please send good energy our way. We would love that. So yeah, just want to clarify that and let me get to packing. I hate leaving for a trip with laundry. I honestly just hate leaving a messy house in general. So I always like to do laundry like right before I go. And then hopefully I can like pack the stuff I wash so I don't have to like put it away. I am going to try to stuff all of these dresses. This is probably like, I would say 10 dresses, maybe 12. I'm gonna try to stick all of those into this one packing cube so let's see if I can do it and I'm actually working with them now I have a code so I'll put my code on the screen for you guys so you get one month free but yeah I'm finishing up as good as dead this is the third book in the um a good girl's guide to murder trilogy so let's you listen to, to that back in the car for the living get in oh am I dying I mean the way you like Girl, you know all my time Baby, can you handle it? Romantic with the candles lit I can fulfill all your fantasies Girl, you know all my time Tell me, can you handle it? Red wine vibe with the candles lit I can fulfill all your fantasies yeah, you know I'm my time, time Yes, I'm my time, girl Give me slow wine to the rest of my life Cause I know places we need to go And I know things we need to do and I... For the most part, I did fit most of my dresses But I only have, let's see, one, two, three dresses that didn't fit in there But these are like my going out dresses These are more like everyday dresses So I'm just gonna keep those Are those my panties? I'm so sorry But yeah, these are more going out dresses Not really daily dresses So I'm just gonna keep them separate anyway It's not a big deal um, I just got that little pile over there Then I just gotta pack up pajamas, underwear um, What else do I need? Bathing suits and then a few workout outfits And then I'll be done You guys know when I go to Ohio, it's pretty easy I don't really have to pack a lot Because I'm just gonna be like chilling with the family for the most part my time, time, yes, I'm my time, girl Give me slow wine for the rest of my life Cause I know places we need to go And I know things we need to do And I don't see us breaking up When all I do is fiend for you And if you don't believe in love Well, I have something for you We can go to Africa Teach you how the streets move I don't want to lose you Tell me what you won't do Cause I do anything for you Anytime rise the queen salute me Nobody has girls them really ruthless What's good? So guys, it is the end of the night. Kids are asleep. Mm -hmm. Me and daddy were hungry. And I don't know why, but I really wanted El Pollo Loco. We both have never had it, right? No, never had it. Hold on. Wait, is this where Shamar took it? No, still talk. Never had it. So I was influenced by TikTok. A few videos came on my For You page of El Pollo Loco. And it's actually like pretty healthy for fast food. You know what I mean? Like I feel like they had a lot of good options. Mel got nachos. How are they? 
They're pretty good. I mean, I, I would say they're above average. Really? Not like... Knock your socks off? Yeah, not great nacho. But... I mean, for fast food. Yeah. Why am I struggling right now, babe? Okay, hold on. That was the biggest struggle. I don't have chicken on it. Here is what I am eating. This is the chicken avocado salad. Smells out of burrito. But yeah, I thought this looked really good. And then comes with the side of this like creamy cilantro dressing. This is the little salad dressing, I believe. No, no, this is the salad dressing right here. Y'all, not Mel. I had him also get me the video box. That's literally the reason I wanted a pollo loco. And I'm like, where's the consume? Y'all, how am I supposed to eat pedia, babe, without that? I mean, in their defense, we did order like 30 minutes before they were closing. Well, here's the pedia without consume. So I don't know how good it can be, but no, let's see. It's good, but it needs, it needs that dip, you know? I'll probably just dip it in guac then. Their guac is really good. Mm -hmm. Just added the dressing to my salad. For a fast food salad, it's actually pretty fire. Is your chicken spicy too a little bit? No. I feel like my chicken's spicy. Or it could be the corn that's spicy, but it's actually like... Pretty yummy. But I will say for a salad that's called the avocado salad, there's not really much avocado. What is it called? The double chicken avocado salad? Double chicken? Okay. I mean, I wouldn't say all that. It's good, but I just think they're overselling it with their name. There's like two slivers of avocado. How much do you want? A whole... I want a whole half of an avocado. avocado. Yeah. Be like, we need the whole avocado with the shell, please. Thank you. Well, they're like, give me all the avocados you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't need the chicken. Not that I don't want avocado. I don't like avocado on salad. I don't like the taste. Yeah, there's not really much toxic. That's it. That's it. I don't. I just want to taste like the dressing. Hmm. It's about like the salad I get from Happy Burger. Mm hmm. <laughs>